I, public speaking students, this is an example of what happens when you repeat. You get better at it. Okay, let's see if I get better at it through repetition. I've never tried to play this before. Let's see if you can guess what it is. I just started trying to play it two minutes ago. Still watching? Okay, so one of the things that happens when you repeat is you realize stuff. Like, I've been putting one, f one finger and then the next and then in doing it and repeating it I just realized I don't need to do that I can just put these two fingers on ready okay You can't see that, but I just switched the way I'm playing it. Just trying new things, because some of the ways of doing things are easier and some of them are harder. And you don't find the easy ways until you repeat and kind of just make little random changes.
the little change. Oh, it's tiring. The repetition is tiring, but it's the only way to go from not smooth to smooth. Now, obviously, I've got a long way to go before I can actually play this properly smoothly. Um, but if you go back to the beginning of the video, uh, it's been 10 minutes now. And if you go back to the beginning of the video, 
um, completely rubbish, and in 10 minutes I got to where I can at least consistently play it. Ooh. And what's interesting is that a little break will help you. Like, take a little break in your repetition. Alright, I'm going to stop the video. Students, this is what how wavy finger. Um, when you repeat stuff you get smoother at it and if you're not smooth it means you haven't repeated it enough. So if you're not smooth repeat it some more and if it's the day of your presentation and you're not smooth it means you didn't practice. Okay? Please practice. Thank you.